Okay, firmware updates for the CGA3 camera, 4K. Go straight to the Unique site, like there. Go to the Support tab. Select the Typhoon there, 4K. Firmware down here. Scroll to the camera. And here we are, it shows you've got two to pick from. You've got Link 1. Standard, link to Europe. Now, according to the forums, in some parts of Europe, it's illegal to fly out, or well, there's some law about flying out more than two or 300 metres, so the European firmware has its uh, FPV clipped at two or 300 metres. If you go for the standard, you get the full FPV, whatever the range it is, 800 metres or whatever. Um, <clears throat> both of these will work, no problem. But if you're in Australia like me, you'd want to click the standard. Because I've taken mine out, and mine, mine must be fitted with the European one because it's only getting about 250 metres uh, FPV. You will start the video drop out at about 250 metres. So I've put the uh, standard one in and I haven't properly tested it, but I've gone out more than uh, 600 metres and there's been no problem. So uh, they're the two. They both work. Uh, take your pick. If you're in Europe and you want to stay safe, Go for link two, but if you're somewhere else like me and you want that extra range, go for link one. So you click on the link. Okay, you'll end up with a file if you've downloaded it, uh, CTO3. You'll end up with the firmware. Okay, uh, you'll end up with this. Uh, it's a bin file. It's just a container with a load of other files in it. Uh, that's what you get. Don't bother trying to unzip it or do anything with it. Just drop it straight onto a formatted mini SD card. All right, when you've got the SD card loaded with the bin file, the firmware, slot it straight into the camera like that in here. Place it on level ground and boot it up. You'll see the little light there, the little LED on the uh, camera start blinking. And then after about a minute or two, the camera will turn off. Now, if you've got the uh, ground station running, you'll see that it does give video link, but then freezes because the camera actually turns off. Even though the bird's still running, the camera turns off. I left it for about a minute and then I rebooted, no problem, sorted. So that's how you update the firmware. And a couple of little issues, not issues, but a couple of little be uh, bonuses from it. I was never able to um, get the uh, Seago 3 app working uh, so I could get video link on the uh, tablet. Could never get it working. Um, it would recognise the camera, but as soon as I go to the app, it would drop out, come up with Wi-Fi link uh, failure or something. Um, <clears throat> so that's working. But, um, that's how you update the camera. Uh, so yeah, um, happy flying. Catch you later.